Today at Coyote Classics, we're checking out and then gonna test drive this 1970 Chevy Nova Super Sport. If you watched our last uh, Sunday dealership walk around, you'll see that Chad called this the fastest small block on the lot, and then today we proved it. It's, uh, it's very quick, fun, fast, good driving car. It's beautiful. Um, the cool part about this one is it's kind of a survivor. I mean, it's been repainted. Um, it's had a color change to black, but original interior in it and the way this thing drives is just so tight and nice. Um, it's just a 3,000 mile car as far as, so it's a 103, you know, mm -hmm. just turned over. Um, undercarriage is super rock solid, which is so important on these Novas. And isn't this, it's numbers matching, 350, 300 horse, small block? Yeah, you don't see that very often on these uh, 1969, 70, 71 muscle cars. I mean, high horsepower wars, these things were blew up. Mm -hmm. And they were rated at 300 horse, okay, in 1970, but that was to the rear wheels. You know what I mean? So there's a lot more to that to the motor. Um, it's got headers and it's also been beefed up just a little bit. Not all sure what the previous owner did, but I'll tell you what, it runs hard. Headers, Holley four barrel, um, does have power brakes. Let's we'll see if it's got disc on it, D. Yeah, front disc. Front disc. Top of the frame rails, floor pans, trunk pan, everything is super solid on it. Um, and I was mentioning it earlier, I think the, the color change was done I'm guessing probably 20 years ago or so, maybe longer. Um, the paint was done a long time ago, but it still looks great. Uh, we came in, Timmy buffed it to a great shine. I love the Craigers on it, nice trim. Um, just a really good looking car from bumper to bumper. It idles so nice too, just kind of nice and quiet. It does, I mean, to me, the best part about this entire car door buzzer even works. The best part about it, obviously you got the 350, 300 horse, but the best part about it is the way it drives and handles. Mm -hmm. Super fast, fun, just a cool Nova. Tires look like they're in good shape. Like I said, got nice Craigers, BFG, raised white letter tires. So got some good tread on them. Back of the hood lines up good. Um, it's got some little chips and nicks and stuff like that in the paint. Dalton, you mentioned something on the hood, on the roof. Yep, yeah, there's like some couple little specks over there on the roof. Just kind of the right angle, there's some like, Oh yeah, uh, this is kind of, yeah. Just some little tiny pitting, it looks like, isn't it, right here? Mm -hmm. It kind of shrunk just yeah, a shrinking. little bit, is what I would say. I'm um, here in the sail panel is in great shape. Um, back seat. It's got Rockford Fosgate, uh, six by nines in the back shelf. That all looks excellent. Back bumper is new. We did put that on brand new. Tail light lenses are original. The original bumper was on it when it came in. It just was tarnished from the exhaust and stuff all those years. Quarter panel's great. Over the wheel well's awesome. Which doesn't surprise me if you look at her undercarriage photos on her website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, just super solid original pans. Front of the quarter panel's good, door fits great. Um, it's got two or three little handprint dings, dents right here above the body line. Um, we don't have a paint <laughs> dentless. Uh, dentless paint repair yeah, guy right now. We don't, um, otherwise we would have definitely got that taken care of, but we just don't have one right now in our area that's available in the next couple weeks. Lower fender's good. Still has the body edge molding on it. Look at the corner of the doors. I mean, just perfect there. Door paint is nice. When they, when they did a paint job years ago, um, they did a really nice job on the jams and stuff. I mean, so far, anywhere I can see on the car, I can't even tell it was a different color, except for the code was 49, and I looked yep. it up. But even in here, see that? Yep, that's all black, too. Yeah, everything's black. I mean, it looks like an original black car. That's what kind of gets me. Uh, top of the dash pad and top of the dash is beautiful. SS steering wheel. Um, I like what they did here. Um, really looks nice in person. Those autometer gauges, little tachometer, um, oil pressure and temp gauge. They work great. Her shifter, Nova um, stereo, headliners, excellent. Dome light works nice, back seat's nice. Got the factory GM seat belts. Um, it does have a little tear here in the seat that they had taped right on the edge here. I think it's got one on the 
back back here too just a little bit right there it had a little bad spot so original seats you can tell that here see it but still in great sh you know besides those little touch-ups great shape it is a couple little dings here that have been scratched a couple little dings that have been touched up right here paint chips again not a show car but a car you can take to any local car show, cruise night. And when you stand right here, you know, three foot away, it looks like a show car. It's just when yeah. you get really close, so you can see that the paint was done 20, 25 years ago. But remember, originality, yep. numbers matching, horsepower, yep. ride and drive. That's four what this car manual. has. Four speed. How many Novas out there are, you know, believed to be SSs? You know, this is a numbers matching 354 speed. And rust free too. You know, I mean, I'll take paint chips and a little shrinkage over like rust bubbles any day and this one's really solid it's got a couple little yeah a couple little hairline cracks there in the paint i mean like i said it's got some little issues we're not going to get them all guys there's just no way a um, couple little tiny little dirt specks there but like dalton mentioned you know as far as rust goes quarters are solid door fits beautifully down here at the bottom rocker is awesome Lower door and fender are both excellent as well. Back of the hood lines up perfect. Got the chrome bow tie mirror. Doors open and close nice, original door handles. Original buzzers annoying as hell. Um, original door panels, you can see that just by this is starting to come off a little bit, just a little bit, but still they're in excellent shape. Again, door jam here is nice. Inside corner of the door is good. Rear view mirror is nice and tight and it's original. Still has a little, you can see the little age on it. That just tells you what quality the car is though. Yeah, All this stuff. Perfect. Starts good, wipers are good, blades are good. Here's our idle Dalton, 600 RPMs. Temp gauge is at almost at 150, oil pressure is at 30. Revs up over 70. Yeah, it's got a little tack down there too. I like that. Mm -hmm. Heater fan works. That works good. Good it sound. It does. It has a nice sound, really nice sound. It's got a manual choke over here, it looks like, on that carburetor. Um, I failed to mention it, but where that seat, seat bracket goes, there's a little piece of black tape on that too. They did a nice job on it, but just by your side of your seat. Mm -hmm. Light works. It's got the overhead seat belts, and that's still in excellent shape. Original headline, original seats. It's really nice. Uh, I don't know if you heard me, but the heater fan works. Good. And moves all of it freely. Top of the dash is excellent. I'm just going to drive this just because people are going to say, How does it work? You know, how is it with, without power steering? Oh. And when you got a manual gearbox, it, I'm just going to turn yeah, around. Perfect. Here. Yeah, I'm saying I'm at my camera. I missed your turn there, but it turned effortlessly. It's got the big 14-inch, uh, 16-inch, whatever wheel. It steers really nicely. Um, it's got Bluetooth and stuff here, too. The you know, audio speaker here. Like I said, nice sound system. Who is that? Justin Bieber? Bieber? No. I've heard that song. It's an oldie. <laughs> you know what? Might be the first time that song's ever been played. I think it is. Though. Isn't it? Anyway, I just wanted to show you, it steers great, one hand, not so tight, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That tight U-turn. Yeah, but here's, this, oh my God, this thing is just amazing. Again, oil pressure is at 45. <laughs> it's a rocket. Damn. That was a 4,000 RPM shift right there, okay? That small block, here's your brakes. Perfect. I mean, that's what's so awesome about this Nova. Um, not only numbers matching, but it's so tight and the suspension's awesome. And I, I love every single thing about it. And that's a lot of, that's that's a huge deal that a lot of people don't necessarily think about, you know, when they're looking at them. They're yeah, like, oh, they, they cool, want to see how it looks and stuff like that. But this one's solid and mechanically, it's just awesome. It costs a lot of money to, to take and make one this mechanically sound. Just like that, man. 90 mile an hour. 
fourth gear, 4,200 RPM. Nice. I mean, not fast, going down the road like this. It handles. Let's check our brakes real quick, they're 70. We gotta stop fast, right now. Just like that. Yeah, no pull, left or right. How about the other thing, the idle is set. The guys did a great job. A lot of times when you've got a four speed and you stop, you put it in neutral and you stop on the brakes like that hard, um, a lot of times they'll die. You know what I mean? The engine will just kill. Um, but this one just idles still nice. Now if we just wanna, like I said, return it one hand, not hard. And go through the gears really quick. But I just love how response, responsive it is. There's third gear. Um, 50 mile an hour right there. Downshift to fourth, back to third. Here's your synchros. Second. Second. Third. But third gear is geared awesome. Look at that. That's third right there. Nice shift. This thing is cool. Yeah, if you want just a crisp, nice, fast, fun car that's pure, this is it. Yeah, absolutely. If you want a trailer queen, don't buy this one. If you want a freaking mud bucket, don't buy it. <laughs> yeah. Because this is a really solid car, so. All right, check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.